And now, where go? We'll just let them settle down into some sort of racing order. Quinton Riddle uh, takes Wildcat Brook to the front and a reluctant leader. In fact, all three runners out in front, all Kirk Swanson runners. So the Swanson team running one, two, three. That's Wildcat Brook from back in second, calling all angels. Third place belongs to Queen Rania. Excess boy, but the eight is buried away in the pack. And just behind that, we find Atomic Stride. And at the back of the field, that looks like Belmont Breeze. So they... Not going a hectic gallop. Quinton Riddle leads by three lengths on board. Wildcat Brook back in second, calling all angels. Queen Rania is keeping tabs on him. Back in the pocket there, we've got Butler Yates uh, taking up a little bit of a hold for Kamalo. And he's outside his excess boy at the back of the field. Relaxed at the back of the field as Belmont Breeze and Atomic Stride. So Riddle out in front on Wildcat Brook is very dangerous front runner and leads by three. Back in second there, we've got Stable Companion calling all angels. Kevin Dere on board, Queen Rania in third. Kamala's got Butler Yates in fourth. Then we find Excess Boy. About seven lengths covers them from top to tail. With at the back of the field, Atomic Stride and Belmont Breeze. No change in order as they make their way past the 1200 meters. If anything, Quinton slowed it down on board Wildcat Brook. So he only leads by length and a half. Calling All Angels is waiting to pounce together with Queen Rania. Back behind that, we've got the black horse that's Butler Yates. On his outside, his excess boy, Atomic Strider. Also taking a bit of a tug now, and Belmont Breeze at the back of the field. They're going to go right handed now here at Borodell Park, and Quinton Riddle on board. Ear pricked Wildcat Brook leads by a length. Queen Rania is taking closer order. Calling all angels will wait for a rails run. Then we find Excess Boy, but is just running onto the heels of those horses. So it's Calling All Angels who makes a dash for the lead there on the inside. Back in second, we've got Queen Rania. But Yates is going to come up the fence with four to go. It's Wildcat Brook from back in second. Queen Rania now who's trying for gold. It's Queen Rania has gone a length and a half clear. Back in second calling all angels. Butler Yates is not getting to the front one as Queen Rania is going to hold him out. Butler Yates back in third and together with calling all angels Queen Rania. They turn it into a dash for home and she's the one who quickened the best. Back in second calling all angels. Butler Yates had no chance when they sprinted and back in fourth that was Wildcat Brook. Well, this was a very good tactical ride by Kevin Derere. He made sure he had clear running and he'll send Queen Rania and Calling All Angels stays with him for the first 150 meters. Butler Yates just never got going in time. And Queen Rania, good little filly, is going to win this one for Kirk Swanson and his connections. Second will go to Calling All Angels. Butler Yates on the fence could only hold on for third and back in fourth Wildcat Brooks. A good race here for Kirk Swanson Racing. First and second as they cross the line. It's going to be Queen Rania, second Calling All Angels, third Butler Yates and fourth to Wildcat Brook.